Good morning, I'm Lynn Mark and you're listening to The Breakfast Grill where today I have with me Tan Sri Rais Yatim. Adat Sri Anwar Ibrahim has said recently to Bloomberg TV that he expects to take over as Prime Minister by 2020. Is this something you see reflected in the succession planning uh, within Pakatan Harapan? Dr. Dr. Mahathir has been mentioning about the succession plan that he would hand over the baton to Datuk Sri Anwar when the time comes. Mm -hmm. Truly, one missing thing is the date. It is difficult, I think, to visualize a succession plan without Anwar Ibrahim, without Datuk Sri Azmin. Uh, These two, I think, would be in the forefront of consideration. Slightly more for Dato Sri Anwar, who has, I think, uh, galvanized uh, sufficient support and uh, the aura uh, to be the Prime Minister, if I may use the word. The problem would be then how convincing uh, that situation be to the other sister coalition. Uh, There has to be, I think, a consensus at the presidential council uh, level. The other thing is, is the people's choice. Now, the people have not really expressed uh, their uh, specific or categoric choice of Dato Sri Anwar in so many words. Uh, They just take it uh, as rhetoric value. Mm -hmm. Uh, That could be, I think, a little problem later on. But as far as I see, that could become a reality if Tun Dr. Mahane does not waver too much in terms of the timing as well as the personality involved. Do you think that they would be able to win the people's confidence and their vote come GE15? If the manifesto of PH is uh, laid out on the table, and if uh, Anwar Ibrahim were to determine the cost of living, the petrol price, the schooling system, the multiracial uh, ambit, that would be clear. And that would help him to galvanize support and uh, and gallop forward. But if it is merely to say, I'm the one, I'm coming in, because Tun had already said this, that is not sufficient.